Well, you're back. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't you lin me. I thought things had already gone sideways, but no, that was just the beginning. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. It's not like we were eager to stick around. But we had injured people on recovery, and pickup coming at some point. Just not soon enough. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. They could have grav-jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. grab jump calculations before we're out of range out of range of what out of range of the sensor array on vectera would you keep up once we're outside the star system the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never what good is sending a transmission down there you gotta tell lynn how royally screwed we both are she doesn't even have a ship you underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy heller one of them is bound to show up, looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital D, doomed. Got it. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. So, you are 
actually get that computer working again? What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Be a while before... And hey! Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dad. My contract's up with all. Works for me. Right. I'll get to... Good to see you. This is Research Outpost U309 to any and all Freestar Collective craft. We are under heavy fire. Hostile spacers are overrunning our position on Altair 2. Careful, Captain. There are pretty creatures in the area. Oh, hey, it's you. And here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Considering the spaceship wreckage, you mean? Yeah, well, you missed the worst of it. Pretty sure we ripped through all the emergency meds that were salvageable. Hey, uh, you know, when I <coughs> pulled you to the med bench back on Vectera, I honestly thought, shit, I think I just saved someone's life. Oddly proud moment, you know? So, uh, I guess I'm saying, glad I paid it forward. Man. I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. Barrett was all... Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Oh, I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these early whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. Dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was just another day on the job. You miss the fun part, Heller. <laughs> I mean... I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then, he did the little finger gun thing. Oh yeah, probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <clears throat> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, it's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, 
And then they were all gone. Yeah, you know, you're really the one who should be upset about all this. Me, laying here, half-conscious. Real inconvenience. Got a signal from the ship before they grab-jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. Haven't really been in a good... <coughs> space to have a listen. Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Yeah. Give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah. I'll be alright. I'll be alright. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Still think there might be a spot for me on... Um, you got it. Get You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move! He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts.
no certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. Holy shit. You actually found me. Well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? I should have brought drinks. You know, it's actually been kind of nice. Matsura the Grim here is a great host. No sense letting people's last moments be unpleasant. See, that's what I like about you, Matsura. Real renaissance man. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? You want me to end all this with nothing to show for it? He has been more entertaining than most hostages. That's what I'm hoping. Barrett has some good friends, it seems. Very well. You're all free to go. It's been a real pleasure, Matsura. Really. Good luck out there with all the, you know, hurting people and taking their money. He's free to go. I do not ink. Our business is concluded. See yourselves out. Got nothing to say to you. Let's arise in charge. You're lucky.
hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Vectera. Barrett, we were worried sick. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start, Country. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library shelf. Now look at them all. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So hey, I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around, help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? Marvelous. I hope we're parting as friends. Safe travel. Do you need